in a unique form, a mere three days passed from the moment of Jesus' death until he emerged from the tomb. Within this brief time frame, from the utterance of Jesus' words, it is finished, a profound transformation occurred. Although his physical body lay in the tomb, his spirit remained active. During this period, Jesus engaged in mysterious activities hidden from our understanding. Scholars endlessly debate what transpired between his death and resurrection. Did Jesus descend into the depths of hell and communicate with long-deceased and fallen angels, or did he perhaps transport all those awaiting in Sheol up to heaven? Welcome back to Biblical Chatter. Please remember to like and subscribe to support our continued creation of insightful videos. The recurring biblical motif of the third day signifies resurrection and restoration following a significant event. This theme is woven throughout both the Hebrew Bible and the New Testament. Jesus, in the Gospels, mentions the phrase three days twenty-one times, inviting us to ponder the significance of that brief period. Jesus remains steadfast in his path, unwaveringly committed to his destiny even when the devil tempted him on multiple occasions. In contrast, we, as mere humans, are easily distracted and often stray from our intended paths without realizing it. Sometimes, deviating from our course helps us discover where we truly belong. As C.S. Lewis wisely said, you can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. This is precisely what Jesus accomplished. The devil believed he had triumphed, with Judas's betrayal and the authorities condemning Jesus to crucifixion. Satan manipulated the crowd's anger, inciting them to demand the death of an innocent man they scarcely knew. In the eyes of the devil and his senior demons, it seemed as though they had thwarted God's plan. They watched with satisfaction as the only Son of God was crucified on earth, believing they had successfully stopped God in his tracks. However, God and Jesus were fully aware of what was unfolding, they comprehended the mission. Jesus endured all the torment with humility and compassion, even pleading with his Father for mercy as he was nailed to the cross, saying, Father, forgive them. Jesus had the power to free himself from the cross and subdue the demons enjoying his suffering, but he chose not to. Instead, he bore the weight of the world's sins, past, present, and future, upon his broken and bleeding body, for you, the person listening right now. He understands the struggles in your life and the weariness of your journey as a human. Take solace in the words of Isaiah 40 verse 31, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not be faint. On that fateful day when Jesus hung on the cross, Satan believed he had won by taking the life of God's Son, but in truth, it was only the beginning. Jesus couldn't change the past, but he could reshape the future. Jesus was crucified at 9 a.m., Mark 15 verse 25, and darkness shrouded the land from noon until 3 p.m., Matthew 27 verse 45. The atmosphere would have been charged with intensity, as observers could sense that this was no ordinary man on the cross. As Jesus breathed his last breath and commended his soul to God, Matthew 27 verse 51, 
The curtain in the sanctuary was torn from top to bottom, signifying the end of the separation between God and humanity, made possible by Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. An earthquake followed, splitting rocks and opening tombs, resulting in the resurrection of many holy people who appeared to others in the holy city. Matthew 27 verses 51 to 54. In response to these remarkable events, those who had opposed Jesus sought to secure his tomb to prevent any further developments. Matthew 27 verses 62 to 64. Joseph of Arimathea, a member of the Sanhedrin, placed Jesus in a new tomb. Matthew 27 verses 57 to 60, and here we enter the realm of the supernatural. While Jesus' physical body rested in the tomb, his spirit was no longer confined to the earthly realm. Theologians hold varying beliefs about where Jesus' spirit resided during those three days. Some assert that he descended to Hades, the realm of the dead, to proclaim his victory to imprisoned spirits and fallen angels. 1 Peter 3 verses 18 to 22. Others maintain that his spirit joined the Father in heaven, as he promised the thief on the cross, Truly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Regardless of where his spirit ventured, those three days must have been agonizing for his apostles, followers, and family. They hid in fear, their leader having been killed, and they themselves were in potential danger. Some even denied knowing Jesus, breaking their own hearts in the process. Hosea 6 verses 1 to 2 provides a glimpse of hope, come, let us return to the Lord. He has torn us to pieces, but he will heal us. He has injured us, but he will bind up our wounds. After two days he will revive us, on the third day he will restore us, that we may live in his presence. Indeed, Jesus rose on the third day, completing the cycle of sin, redemption, and resurrection. He emerged from the tomb, and on an early Sunday morning, Mary Magdalene and other women arrived to anoint his body with spices. To their astonishment, they found the tombstone rolled aside and Jesus' body missing. Two radiant figures inside the tomb informed them that Jesus had risen from the dead reminding them of his prediction that he would be crucified and rise again on the third day. Did these angels spend time with Jesus in the tomb before rolling the stone away, allowing their king to walk the earth for another 40 days? Mary Magdalene rushed to share the news with the disciples, who initially found it hard to believe. However, Jesus appeared among them during a meal, not summoning them to him, but finding them together. Luke 24 verses 36 to 49. He reassured them of his physical presence and then explained the significance of his fulfillment of scripture. Jesus spent the next 40 days with his disciples, teaching them about the kingdom of God and the power of the Holy Spirit. He prepared them to continue his work after his departure, John 17 verses 25 to 26. As we explore the sacrifice of Jesus, let us seek deeper understanding and appreciation for his profound journey. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.